welcome to all myself dr swepar professor department of mechanical engineer in this video i am going to teach you how to find the shortest distance between two lines before that we must know what is meant by two lines the two lines which do not intersect each other not parallel and non not in a same plane that is non coplanar is called two lines so this distance between two lines the shortest distance between this two skew lines is the line which is perpendicular to both the skew lines so consider this line and this line so the shortest distance is perpendicular to both the two lines so the standard form of these two lines is x minus x1 by l1 equal to y minus y1 by m1 equal to z minus z1 by m1 and the second line x minus x2 by l2 equal to y minus y2 by m2 equal to z minus z2 by l2 so the formula the shortcut formula is shortest distance d equal to modulus value of x2 minus x1 into q plus y2 minus y1 into r plus z2 minus z1 into p divided by root of p square plus q square plus r square so we have to remember here q r p the three letters we have to remember just you imagine you are searching question papers in reginpal.com question reginpal question reginpal like that q r p here x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z2 so now let me explain what is p p equal to determinant value of l1 m1 l2 m2 remember the cyclic order and q equal to m1 n1 m2 n2 and r equal to n1 n1 n2 n2 this determinant values so this is the shortcut formula to find the shortest distance between two skew lines now let me explain one problem so find the shortest distance between these two skew lines x minus 6 by 3 equal to y minus 7 by minus 1 equal to z minus 4 by 1 And x by minus three equal to y plus nine by two equal to z minus two by four. We know the standard form: x minus x one by l one equal to y minus one by m one equal to z minus z one by m one. So we have to write the coordinates. So x one equal to six, and y one equal to seven. Z n equal to four. Now for the second line, x2 equal to here no term, so take it as zero. And y2 here y minus of minus nine, so minus nine. And z2 equal to two. This one. In similar way, we can write l1, m1, n1, etc. So l1 is equal to three. Y one equal to minus one and y one equal to one. For the second line, y two equal to minus three, y two equal to two, and y two equal to four. So you have written the coordinates. Now the shortest distance. D equal to so the formula for such a system is this. Now we are going to substitute all the values. In the equation, plug the equation number one. Now we have to find P Q R. So P equal to determinant value of L one M one, L two M two. So L one three, M one minus one, L two minus three, M two two. So three into two six. Six minus minus three into minus one, so minus three. 
so it is 3 and q equal to m1 n1 m2 n2 so m1 m2 and n1 n2 1 4 so minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 and r equal to n1 n1 n2 n2 so r equal to determinant of n1 n1 n2 n2 so n1 n2 1 4 and n1 n2 3 minus 3 so 1 into 3 minus 3 minus 4 into 3 12 so minus 50 now find x2 minus x1 0 minus 6 which is equal to minus 6 and y2 minus y1 minus 9 minus 7 which is equal to minus 16 and z2 minus z1 2 minus 4 which is equal to minus 2. Now substitute these all the values in equation number 1. We get the shortest distance 1 implies d equal to x2 minus x1 minus 6 into q minus 6 plus y2 minus y1 minus 16 into r minus 15 and z2 minus z1 minus 2 into p 3 divided by root of p square plus q square plus r square so which is equal to minus 6 into minus 6 36 plus 16 into 15 240 minus 6 divided by root of 9 plus 36 plus 225 so it is equal to here 270 divided by root of this value 270 so the answer is 270 into root 270 divided by root 270. So cut this value root of 270. You can write root of 9 into 30. So root 9 value 3. So 3 root 30 units. So this is the shortest distance 3 root 30. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a pleasant day. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.